Yo, what up? Thank you guys for dropping by. I'm just gonna dive right in and um, just let you guys know what's going down in these gaming streets. So, you know, I don't know how Sony can talk tough and cry at the same time. You know, it, it, I, I don't know, but they're doing it. You have the Sony CEO over there pretty much backing Jim Ryan, just like the ponies do, you know, backing him up don't want to bring more value to ps5 and you know the reason why i say they really should reconsider that because i already know that they know that we're on to them and we know what they're doing because word have got back word got back to sony's front office that we demand more value you know they know about it they heard about it they responded to the fan base no we're, we're not going to compete with call of duty or and we're not going to compete with game pass so this is why i say that right there was a bad idea to come out and say that now i don't know by 2023 are they going to keep the same energy i don't know if they're going to keep that same energy but from as of right now they are you know they're pretty much saying we're not going to you know bend right now we're not going to bend and fold and we're definitely not going to you know give the gaming community what they want until we are ready to do it we're not going to let anyone push us around and tell us what to do and that's definitely not what we're trying to do what we're trying to do is come together as a gaming community a gaming community and bring the fun back to gaming like like the 90s and the early 2000s when it was all about gaming instead of mostly we're talking about drum we're not even getting to the games we're not even really talking about how great the games are like it the the drama is actually overshadowing the greatness of these triple a bangers because everybody is either nitpicking them or the fanboys are going at it or now the big ceos are going at it so we're not even really getting to gaming like we used to so this is why i feel like they should you know compete come 2023 with the AAA bangers that are about to drop on game pass day one they are about to flood the game pass gates bust them wide open and i just don't know if sony's going to be able to keep up if they keep neglecting their fan base like they're doing so we're about to um jump into it and this is going to be pretty much why i feel like they should compete this is why this is why sony needs to compete because the triple a bangers that are dropping next year in 2023 man man xbox is not messing around bro like it's about to get real out here in these gaming streets i'm talking about sony though decepticons don't care about their fan base they don't care about you they don't care about me the only thing they care about is money they are greedy grimy selfish shady backdoor deal exclusive stealing ip snatching holding spider-man hostage to this day and want and want xbox to unhand call of duty forever like they just want call of duty to stay on the platform forever but come 2023 they're gonna have even more problems they gotta worry about first of all the first biggest triple a banger you gotta worry about that starfield then the next one you gotta worry about redfall then the next one you gotta worry about forza motorsports then the next one you gotta worry about stalker 2 then the next one you gotta worry about hellblade 2 i'm talking about the list goes on and on bro and not even including all of the triple a bangers multiplats that's coming all of the japanese multiplats and and day one AAA bangers only for Xbox exclusive deals. They have a Jap they have Japanese studios now. Japanese studios now, bro. 
This is a big deal for Xbox. This is the rip, bro. I can't even stress how big this is, bro. Like, this is a very big deal. You know, and Sony better really get with it because once Minecraft, there's another Minecraft coming out. Bro, Minecraft is already one of the biggest games in gaming history that Microsoft owns. Next to Call of Duty, next to GTA 5. That, that, come on, and they have a, another one finna drop? Then they have an awesome, another, I don't want to know, I don't really want to say it's going to be bigger than Elder Scrolls, but Lies of P, a multiplayer game. If that game takes off, they can possibly, they can possibly buy that game. Not only, not only that, not only that, they even have Bethesda, even more games. Think about it. If Ghostwire Tokyo release on Xbox and Game Pass, if it's a time exclusive, I don't know. But we have Deathloop. So that led me to believe Ghostwire Tokyo may be on the way to Game Pass as well. And not only that, <laughs> I gotta throw some more icing on the cake. I gotta throw some more icing on the cake because you know I'm getting hyped the more I think about it. Death Loop 2 is going to be in the making. Will be probably exclusive to Xbox Game Pass day one. Now, that is going to crush a lot of hearts over there on PS5. I get it. I get it. But you have to blame Jim Ryan. You got to blame the front office over there at Sony. Because they're not running. They're not doing things right right now. I mean, they're crying to the board. They're snitching on Xbox. They're trying to get the Call of Duty Activision deal blocked. And you think you deserve Deathloop 2, 3, and 4? This is a, you think you, did you, did y'all really think Xbox was going to come in this generation joking around like another Xbox one? Once Uncle Phil said he's all in on Game Pass. I believe, I don't, maybe I just one of those, you know, gamers that just kind of believed him. And I was like, man, I, I believe, I believe he's going to turn it around. You know, it may take some time to turn it around. But when I seen the plan that uncle phil had over there at xbox it made sense he was like i'm going all in with game pass because day day one games are going to work and he opened my mind to value he made me see so much value bro i was like wait a minute and he started naming game after game after game after game i say whoa whoa i say time out i say this what is this what xbox been working on behind the scene Bro, it was crazy. When he started naming these games, it was like, I can see it. And I seen the vision and I seen I seen the future for Xbox, how bright it was. And I was like, oh snap, PS5 ain't gonna be able to keep up because they made they made Uncle Phil mad. You know, they 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 made him they made him look bad last generation. Xbox One, that that was a horrible, that was a horrible generation. But nobody seen Xbox clapping back like this, bro. Nobody. Seventy billion dollars. I'm talking about. They just. They are just balling up money, throwing it at Sony, making it rain, and saying, "And what? And we're still gonna buy up more studios in your hood, near you. <laughs> you never know. You may look outside one day. Xbox is building a studio next door to your house. You be like, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't know see see that's why sometimes the underdog is always more surprising you get what i'm saying it's more surprising and it's more you know exciting to see xbox doing this because they've been the underdogs for how long sony is the market leader but they but they have somehow made it to the top of the mountain and they just kind of flatlined a little bit because see, they've been at the top so long, they ain't really had nobody to really come at them like back in the 90s and stuff. It was it was getting down and dirty, you know, in the early 2000s. And and, and when that Xbox One era came, they just kind of like, oh, we at the top of our game, looking down on Xbox, like, man, Xbox soft as cotton. I mean, just, just dogging Xbox One. I'm talking about dog, uh, bro. It felt I felt bad having the Xbox One some days because the Sony boys was talking, it was talking mad junk, bro. Like I had people like, man, I don't want that garbage. Like it was, it was bad, bro. It was bad. 
I remember those days. But now, I'm seeing, I'm seeing so many like comments and so many, you know, bloggers and vloggers saying, man, I'm switching over to Xbox now. I ain't never thought I would hear PlayStation boys, Sony ponies, fanboys talking like this. They don't even want to rock with Sony because of Jim Ryan. That's how stupid and idiotic this dude is, man. Like for real, for real. Like nobody's rocking with him right now over there. <laughs> but you know it's okay to jump ship sometime, man. Sometimes change is good, right? I mean, if you're doing it for the right reasons, we're bringing you value over here on Xbox Game Pass. Sony's charging you more a premium price. Yes, you're going to get quality. It's going to be a triple A banger, but you're definitely going to have to pay for it. And that's what you're going to have to make a decision. Come the holidays, you're going to have to make up your mind, man. Which one is better for you? Which one is better for the kids? Which one is better for a gift? You want to get? You might want to get one for somebody. Who knows? But if your pockets ain't right, or the person that you're trying to buy the PS5 for ain't right, bro, do not get them a PS5 if you know it's going to be a struggle for them to keep games up. Because they're not going to want that subscription service because it's not going to bring... It's just saying... Ah, it's not hitting on nothing right now, man. Game Pass is where it's at, man. Because 2023... They're going to be looking for their refund. And they're going to be over there on Xbox. <laughs> I'm just going to be real. You have the baby. You have the baby Xbox outperforming the PS5. The, with the upgrades and the updates. They made the PS5 cheaper and charging their fan base more. Which is sad. And, and you guys already know I don't. I, I don't like con artists. I don't like people trying to like woo you in. But, but give you a dud. You know. And they know those, they know those consoles ain't gonna last that long, bro. If you're making them cheaper, and they already was having problems, come on now, you gonna raise the price on them? If if you if it breaks, it's gonna take forever to get it fixed. Customer service at Sony sucks because they only care about one thing over there: money. They're greedy. They're grimy. They're shady. I'm sorry, but I'm being real with you guys. I don't Sony is forcing their fan base to upgrade due to greed. Cash grabbing shady deals, exclusive deals that they want to do. Now let's move, let's move on down the list. Now, Dead Space. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking Dead Space is gonna be more of a remake. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard that was a remake. You know. But but I'm more I'm mostly worrying about their triple A bangers, day ones. Well, I don't really want to say day ones because they're not coming to the subscription service, but I really want to focus on their AAA bangers that's only on, you know, the PlayStation platform because they don't want to basically do day ones on their PlayStation Plus premium service and they don't want to compete because because come 2023, I don't know if I don't know if they're going to be able to keep up with Xbox Game Pass. And due to due to the fact that Microsoft is breaking into the Japanese market, guys, it's going to be a dog fight, like hands down. I don't know how this generation is going to end up. I just want everybody to choose the right team to play on, basically on what you can afford. Don't go get no, do not go get a PS5 if you can't afford it. That is a premium console, and that's just looking out for you. That's not telling you not to go buy one, but reconsider. If you know you're already in, you know, inflation is already hurting your pockets. You're living paycheck to paycheck. It's already hard to, su to survive for most people out here. Do not go and get no PS5 because it don't have the value there. It's not that it's not a premium, you know, AAA banger awesome console because it is, but it's coming, it's coming with that $70 price tag every game. They're, they're, they're not listening to their fan base whatsoever. They're telling us what they're, what they're going to do and what they're not going to do. That's what Jim Ryan does. He's, he tells you what he's not going to do. He's not even going to try to fight for his fan base. Like, that's just, just that's insane to even think like that. But that is just bad for business. That is bad for business. And then you have Uncle Phil over here bringing you value. They bring you value on the Xbox. Game Pass Ultimate. Sign up, you know, ten to fifteen dollars a month. You get all. You're gonna get all those new AAA bangers day one in Game Pass. Once they start dropping them next year, you're never gonna get that until they change their mind on PlayStation. 
just just PlayStation Premium is just going to pretty much collect dust until they're pretty much done milking all of the first party AAA bangers through every other service that they're providing. You know whether they want to do it the old-fashioned way. We're gonna come out with the with the discs and the uh, digital copies, and that's it. And whenever whenever we milk it to the bone, then we're gonna then we're gonna we're gonna ship it over to PC. Then we're gonna finish milking it to the bone, and then we're, we may put it on a subscription service like two years out when it when the hype has died down, and now it's nobody even really caring about the game because there's so many more games gonna be out by then. Who's really going to be, I mean, unless it's people that haven't got their hands on the PS5, those will be the newcomers. It'd be exciting to them, but it's not going to be exciting to people like us that knows how to already jump into the PlayStation ecosystem and know what they're bringing. And it ain't much value. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys right now, like I said before, if your pockets, if your pockets are not right do not go out and get a ps5 you will be sorry later on because it's going to catch up with you because you have to pay 70 dollars a pop every game is 70 dollars you don't pay for a subscription service to compete with game pass that's just, it's crazy but you just not you know and then those so those may be like they're going to have they're going to have triple a banger games come out next year probably like the final fantasies the forspoken and uh the spider-man from what i know but then you have xbox over here with all the day ones the starfield the redfall the forza motorsports the hellblades then you got other stuff coming down the pipeline you know you got the perfect darts of the world coming you got the indiana jones coming you know, you have all the other multi-plat, all the other multi-plat AAA bangers that's coming. Day one in the Game Pass. All the Japanese games that are coming. Day one in Game Pass. All of the new deals that they just made over there in Tokyo. All off in Tokyo spending all those pesos. Do you think those Decepticons over there at Sony like that? Xbox pulled up in their hood, all up in their face, flashing all those million dollars of bills, just just making it rain on Sony. I'm talking about all off in their hood, bro. I'm talking about like that's gotta hurt. Like, <laughs> Uncle Phil just popped the trunk. All you seen was billions of dollars in the hood. Like what? What do you want to do? What are you What are you gonna do? What is you gonna do, Sony? You gonna sit there and cry? You're still gonna cry? You're gonna compete? If you want to compete, well, let's compete. Nah, they, they didn't, they, they, it's too hot in the kitchen, man. They ain't ready to cook like that. They don't got the recipe like Xbox got it. You know, they don't got the funding. They don't got the cheddar, the, the bread, the moolah, the, the netto. They don't got it. You know, and it ain't, it ain't that they can't do it. They told us that they're not going to compete. That's the biggest issue I have with it, though. Like, that's just, that's just, that's been bugging me bro so bad like you're telling me that you're not going to do something and then you have uncle phil over here xbox telling us man i'm about it we're gonna he's over there shaking hands dapping people up making all these business moves over there in japan and tokyo and the asian community it's 1.6 billion gamers over there they are out selling ps5s over there so by next year this time when all those japanese games start dropping in day one they have 50 more japanese games coming do you hear what I'm saying? That is a huge community over there. That is a very huge community over there. Man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't feel like you can just tell your your audience, your fan base, that you're not going to do something. And we know that you heard us, bro. We know Jim Ryan hearing us because they're replying back. <laughs> Nobody's going to respond to something if they didn't hear something in, out here in these gaming streets. And, and that just lets me know Every day, these Decepticons do not care about us, bro. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. The only thing they care about is money. And that's what they're gonna stand down on. And Uncle Phil over there is like, hey, come over here to the green team with Xbox Game Pass, bro. Come on over here where you're welcome at. Come on over here where you got that value, where you got all those day ones coming in 2023. And I have to keep reminding everybody because people forget, they will forget it. They will forget. 
if you don't remind them, you got people jumping into the console war, stopping by, seeing what's going on out here in these gaming streets. They want to know, they want to stay updated. And that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep you that's why I'm here to keep you guys updated so that you don't forget. So that you don't forget that the grind is real over here with Uncle Phil. <laughs> you know, and it's it's crazy. It's crazy that you can tell someone something and they still don't listen. And it ain't it ain't like we're we're trying to misguide Jim Ryan or tell him something wrong to bring down the company, bro. We're not doing that. We're giving her good tips. You don't think I, I'm out here looking at all of these content creators and bloggers and vloggers and you know all these medias and tweets and Twitter and all these people. You don't think I'm out here watching all that stuff and see what's going on to keep up with, with what's going on. And I'm gonna leave it right there, guys. Make sure you smash that like, that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news in these gaming streets. And don't forget to click the link down in the, in the description if you want to jump into the PlayStation ecosystem or the Xbox ecosystem.